Uh, hey, what's going on? Uh, are you okay? Hey, hey, puppy, what's wrong? Oh, oh no, puppy, please don't cry. Hey, hey, look at me, look at me. Hey, it's okay. Everything's okay. Can you tell me what's wrong? Okay, okay. Hey, hey. Let's not try to talk right now, okay? I can see that you're having difficulty breathing, you're having difficulty speaking. It's okay. Let's just try to get you to calm down before you try saying anything, okay? Alright, look at me. Here, place your hand on my chest. Can you feel my heartbeat? Alright, that's good. Now, take a deep breath in with me. Alright, very good. Let it all out. Oh, slowly, slowly. Sorry, I should have said that. Alright, let's try again. Nice, deep breath in. Let it out slowly. Alright, very good. Are you able to breathe a bit better now? Okay. How about talking? Oh, okay, okay. Not ready to talk just yet. Alright, let's try another deep breath, okay? Deep breath in. Let it out slowly. One more, just to be on the safe side. Deep breath in. Let it out slowly. Alright. Try talking now. There you are. There's your beautiful voice. Now, can you tell me why you're crying? Oh, puppy. You had a nightmare? Oh, come here. Oh, wait. Is it okay if I hold you or would that make it worse? Alright. Here. It's okay. Everything's going to be alright. Would you like me to rub your back a bit? Alright, there you go. It's okay. Everything's okay now. It was just a nightmare. You're awake now. You're safe. Would it help if you talked about it? You don't know? Well, that's alright. For now, we can just sit here, okay? I'll hold you, rub your back. I can scratch your ears if you'd like. Yeah, you'd like that? Alright, here you go. <laughs> it's so funny how they twitch like that still. Like they're not used to being scratched. It's so adorable. I love it so much. Not as much as I love you, though. You want to talk about it? Okay, alright. Be sure to take your time, though. If you feel too scared to continue, just let me know. We can go back to silence and pleasant conversation. It was about us? Alright. What exactly about us? All right, we were having our picnic with Sasha as planned. We heard a sound. Was it a normal forest sound, or was it something more sinister? I see. We thought it was a normal sound at first, but it was something else. Can you tell me what it was? It was Aaron. I see. And... Did he seem to be... Threatening us? Not exactly. <laughs> Don't tell me. Was he... Was he threatening to you? Oh, God. 
Puppy, I'm so sorry. Oh no. What else happened? He said what? He said that... I was wrong to love you? That I was just pretending so you wouldn't kill me? Puppy, I hope you know that that isn't true. I know that dreams are meant to represent our subconscious feelings and nightmares represent our subconscious fears, but I truly hope that you know I would never pretend to love you. I'm not pretending to love you. I really do love you. I love being your mate. I love living with you in this forest. You are... You are my everything. Truly, you are. Never forget that, okay? Oh? It's... What happened after that made it a nightmare? <laughs> he... He pulled out... A gun? No, no. Puppy, it's okay. You don't need to continue. I... I think I know where this is going. Huh? It's not what I think. Then... What was it? Alright. He pointed the gun at you, and... He shot. I... I jumped in front of you. And pushed you to the ground so that... Even if the bullet went all the way through me... It wouldn't hit you? Puppy, I... That's not all? Oh god. Oh god, what came after? You tried to stop the bleeding, and... Oh! Oh, puppy! He shot you too? Oh, is that when you woke up? Oh, goodness, no wonder you were crying. That's awful! Oh, do you mind if I hold you tighter? I think... I think I'm going to cry after hearing that. No, 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 oh, puppy. It's okay, it's okay. It's not your fault. I'm, I'm not crying because you told me about your nightmare. I asked you if you wanted to talk about it, and I was prepared to listen. It's not your fault. I'm crying because... Such a fear is so... realistic. I know I probably shouldn't be saying that, that doesn't help at all, but... After everything that Aaron said to us, after everything he said to and about you, it's understandable that him killing you would be one of your fears. Puppy, I... I hope you know that I would never, ever let something like that happen to you, okay? What about me? What do you mean, puppy? What about me? Puppy, I am more than willing to lay down my life if it means keeping you safe. Huh? That's the problem? Puppy, what are you- Oh. I- I wasn't thinking about that. I was too focused on the thought of you dying. I- Puppy. I promise, no matter what happens, 
There will never be a situation in which one of us has to die while the other lives. And I will never allow both of us to die. Okay? How can I be sure? Lie down with me, would you? Look at me. Look at my face. Can you see in my eyes just how much I love you? Very good. Of all the people I've introduced you to, only one of them didn't love you the way I do. And I have a feeling that eventually you'll start to grow on him. My grandfather certainly enjoys your company. He told me that whenever my family couldn't visit, you would stop by and you'd talk to him. He loved talking to you whenever you came around. He told me that he couldn't imagine anyone better for me to spend the rest of my life with. And Sasha? She's so happy to have met you that she wants to go on a picnic with the two of us. And I know that that might be a bit frightening for you, especially after the dream you just had. But she has only good intentions. Nothing bad will happen as long as it's just the three of us. And Mikasa, she may have been wary of you at first, but she trusts you. And gaining her trust is no easy task. You have earned her trust. And if there's anything I know about Mikasa, it's that she's always loyal to the people she trusts. As long as you don't break her trust, She'll defend you with her life. As for Aaron... Well... Aaron has always been... rather stubborn. Once he forms an opinion on anything or anyone, it's very difficult to change his mind, no matter how hard you may fight to do so. It will... definitely take some time, but... Eventually, we'll get through to him. He'll see just how much I love you, and just how much you love me. I promise, puppy. He'll come around. And even if he never does, I can promise you that he would never threaten, hurt, or kill you. What makes me so sure? As stubborn as he is, he isn't strong-willed enough to raise a gun to your head out of spite. I swear, puppy, even if we can't change his mind, he will never kill you. And he'll never kill me, either. Of course I promise. You are my mate. I would never assure you of something that I wasn't certain was true, especially when it comes to your safety. All right? All right. Now, do you think you're feeling well enough to go back to sleep? It's all right if you're not sure. We can stay up a while longer if you need to. You'd like to try going back to sleep? All right, let's give it a try. If I fall asleep but you find yourself awake, feel free to wake me. I don't mind staying up a little longer if it helps you sleep. Huh? You think you'll be able to go back to sleep? That's great! Huh? No, no! What was it that you said? Do you need something to help you sleep? I'm sure it isn't silly. Come on, what is it? You want cuddles? Not just any cuddles. What do you mean by that? 
You want me to wrap my cloak around you while we cuddle? Puppy, why would I ever think that's silly? Come here, you. There. Nice and comfy? Good. Now, close your eyes, puppy. I promise. If I can't keep you safe, this cloak certainly will. It's always kept me safe. Sometimes I like to think that it's the reason I met you. I know it's silly, but I always thought it was a bit of a good luck charm of mine. After all, this cloak helped you recognize me when you saw me. That's why you approached me. That's why you helped me. That's why you became my mate. And I couldn't be more grateful for that. <laughs>